Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Pepper, and today I'll be unboxing Way of the Panda from Come On Games, as well as Pen Dragon Game Studio. Um, it's a game from Andrea Manini, Walter Obert, and Alberto Vendramini. Um, not sure if I know any of those or any games that any of them have done. Um, but I knew, do know a couple cool mini or not games. Uh, one of which this one kind of reminds me of. Oh boy, we're already struggling to get the plastic off this box. Um, but yeah, one game that this one reminds me of is Council of Four. Um, for some reason, I think just kind of the map of this game. Um, well, let's show you the back of the box. Uh, just something about that map and all the connecting roads um, reminded me of Council of Four. Um, and also, it's cool many or not, and it's actually a pretty decently priced game. Um, actually, this is 30 something dollars, as was Council of Four when we picked that up. Um, so, I just felt like this one was in the same vein of, of Council of Four. And I really enjoy that game, so this one has been on the watch list for quite a while. Um, as well as pandas, just um, are a pretty cool theme, um, even if they aren't needed. Which I'm sure this game does not rely on the panda theme too heavily. Um, but yeah, pretty cool artwork. Here is the main rule book. Let's see how many pages. 19. So about 20 pages, a summary on the back, which is always nice. Um, yeah, it looks like it has examples for everything here. Um, looks like a well laid out rule book. Let's hope it is. Next up, we have some player sheets, player boards. Let's hope this wasn't needed. Yeah, it looks for the different player colors. Got... Oh, it is different artwork on the back. That's really cool. Um, usually the... I expected this to be the same artwork for each player, but this is actually unique artwork. And not just like the colors, it's actually unique pandas for for each player. That's, that's really cool. Um, and yeah, it looks like it follows through here on the front of the um, player boards. Uh, which they are really boards. They're um, thick paper, I would say, um, but good quality. Um, yeah, really cool, really cool. So it looks like you're going to be controlling like three different types of pandas um, throughout the game. Everyone will get some cardboard pop-outs. They don't snap out the best, but they it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, a lot of tiles here, which I believe these will be going in between the um, routes between the cities. Um, and these are um, pretty good quality cardboard, I would say. Maybe Carcassonne tile um, thickness, pretty average. And here we have all the different symbols that I believe you'll be putting on your player board. As you can see, there are some matching symbols with this coin out there. Um, so yeah, I believe you'll be unlocking or upgrading your pandas with these. I'm not sure exactly how you'll get these throughout the game. Um, but yeah, I think those will be different resources to upgrade your abilities. This is... Oh boy, this big... This is the action board, um, which one thing that drew me into this game, um, and I don't remember it much now, um, but it was the action selection um, mechanism, where if you take an action, let's say this top green action, um, in the future, you cannot take anything to the left or above where you've pre previously placed. So from here, you can only go to the right or down um, with your future actions, which um, isn't something that I've seen in a game. 
Um, and I was really interested to play this because of that and see how it limits your actions um, that you can take. But yeah, this looks to break it down like I'm not sure all the symbols, but uh, hopefully there's a good reference and it's pretty clear. It looks like you have the different types of uh, pandas and maybe their abilities that you can do. Maybe move your green panda, blue or red, or maybe white or any panda possibly. Um, build different buildings. Um, yeah, looks to be pretty clear. I'm sorry, I got a little glare on the board here. Um, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty big um, here. And kind of got some room for cards and um, different points around the board. Um, really cool. Um, it looks like this shows you how you gain victory points. Just a good reference there when you build buildings, this looks like. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Let's see, just a black back of the board. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that um, action selection. And here is the main board, which looks to be twice as big as that action board. Um, let's actually get this right side up. So here's a little bit. So it looks like there will be a bunch of different cities with um, different roads between them. But yeah, let's see if we can lift this camera up a little bit and get a bigger shot. I'm literally just lifting the tripod here. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking board. Again, it still does remind me of um, Council of Four quite a bit, um, which is not a bad thing. I really like that board as well. Um, let's get zoomed in here. You got some little ninjas on the roads that you'll be battling um, to claim routes. Yeah, really cool. Um, I like the landscape kind of look that it has with the different forests and rivers and lakes. Um, pretty cool looking board. Let's fold that up. Um, and again, this was black on the back as well, so that is one-sided. Um, and this, I don't remember if Council of Four had this, had a cardboard box containing the minis. Um, but I know I just unboxed. Maybe that will, maybe that unboxing will come out after this. But I just unboxed Project Elite, and that also had one of those, which was really cool um, to see something I hadn't seen before. Um, yeah, let's open these up again. Here's our trusty um, shirt tag remover. Um, these look like different um, scoring. I believe those are victory points. Different ways to score throughout the game or at the end of the game for uh, maybe certain buildings you've built or routes that you have. Um, pretty good quality. It's a pretty big card, as you can see in the hand. Um, definitely bigger than standard um, playing card, which here is a standard playing card. As you can see, quite large. And on to these. Not sure what all these slots are for. They're probably for all the cardboard pop-outs. Oh boy, come on. Have not destroyed any cards on camera yet, so that's... I'm happy with that. Hoping, hoping to keep that streak alive. Oh boy, we might have just broken it. Pick them up off the floor. Um, and these look to be... Maybe different bonuses that you can get. Maybe if you build a building, you get one of these cards or something like that. Um, that yeah, looks like you can get a point and a panda movement. Maybe an action. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what these will be used for, but I do like these are like viticulture season card size, which I bring that up quite often. That is. Pretty much my only reference for that. Um, and I think a lot of people do know viticulture, so I think that's a good one to reference. Um, but yeah, decent quality too. And on to this. This one was a lot easier to take out of the box than the um, Project Elite. Good, there's no tape. I was worried there was going to be tape and I'd have to struggle with that. Ooh. 
So this is showing you everything that's in there, in the box. Looks like we'll have three layers of plastic here. Two, three layers. Let's, let's hope they're not taped together. They are not. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have the different buildings in the game. And these, just from looking at them, they look really cool. Um, they definitely f look like they fit with this game so far with all of the art and style and the pandas and kind of that Asian um, look. A lot of red and gold. Um, and these these look really, really cool. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, again, like for under $40, I've just blown away by the production value of this and... Uh, uh, Council of Four. Um, but yeah, these look like different bases. I think you can build each of these buildings once in a city, and then it gets upgraded to this, and then you can build each of them again, which let's set that aside and put these buildings in here. Oh, they just go right, right into place. Oh, those, those snap right into place. That, that was quite satisfying um, but yeah that looks really cool I mean let's get the board out here uh, see so yeah, those will be on the board and it'll just be filled with different cities I think it's gonna look really really cool have a great table presence and up next we have first we have a lid to this which actually kind of snaps into place which is nice usually they just cover it up um, but first off we oh oops they were they were stacked I did not know they were stacked I thought this was one piece so now I've dropped one on the floor um, but these are cool little they could have just been cylinders but they're actually um, got a nice little design on them there um, pretty cool I like these um, I like that they stack that reminds me of um, another cool mini or not game, I believe, uh, Ethnos, 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 um, they kind of have those player markers that stack, um, which I really enjoy, and hopefully those are, doesn't look like there's nearly as many of those, um, but I definitely like how they stack. And these are the little, everybody's little minions, or people to go out on the maps, I believe these are what you'll place over those routes between the cities, fighting those ninjas on the board. Um, I believe these all are identical, but except for color. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, looking like a looking like a panda. Um, yeah, pretty cool little minis. Um, again, this is reminding me a lot of Council of Four. And then I guess I can bring this up to the can. Oops, someone's base seems to have come off here. But yeah, the bases are already on the miniatures, which is really cool. It looks like, yeah, they are already in each player color, and they are all unique, which is awesome. Uh, instead of just having um, just kind of different colors and identical models, they are all actually unique models as well. Um, but yeah, ooh, this guy's really cool with his... Is he looking backwards? No. Okay, there we go. That is a very, very cool model. But yeah, this game looks to be... I know some miniature games, um, just having a bunch of gray plastic on the board um, kind of washes it out, but this looks like it's going to bring a lot of color to the board and everything's just going to pop. Um, but yeah, a lot of really, really cool miniatures. Um, and I just, uh, I just really appreciate that these are all unique. Um, let's get this one. What is this? Let's see if they match um, with these. What color are we looking at here? We've got, okay, so we've got the gray color. Which would be this guy. And yes, he does match his, his artwork. That is really, really cool. But yeah, I feel like, excuse me, I feel like having those unique miniatures not only makes it easier 
to tell them apart on the board, but I feel like it's going to bring a lot of character to each of their um, unique models. Um, but yeah, that is everything in Way of the Panda. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like or possibly even subscribe to see future content. We'd really appreciate it. Um, but as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.